Hello, ladies of virtue and men of brave valor. This is Sharita Leon, two time number one best selling author, speaker, life and relationship coach, and I want to thank you so much for watching this video. So, I know it's been a little while since I've done a video, there's been a lot going on. And if you don't know, you need to go to my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash coach Sharita or follow me on Twitter um, at coach Sharita to find out what I've been doing. So, I want to get right into today's topic. I have had a lot of people ask me this question, and I want to get into it. So, how do you know if this person is the one? Now, before I even get started, I want to make sure that you know there isn't an exact formula or, you know, five-step principles to let you know that this person is the one. There are, you know, variations with different people. However, with that being said, there are some things that should be set in stone to know that, hey, this could possibly be the person that I believe is for me. So, when considering somebody is the one for you, you will feel a peace about it. And I'm not talking about something you have to force to make yourself feel like, okay, this is it, or you know, butterflies because it's beyond the feeling. But there will be an overwhelming peace inside of you that says, you know what, I feel good about this. I feel the Spirit of God just like really giving me an ease about it. So you're going to feel that peace. You're not going to feel like that back and forth and, you know, that strong intuition that's telling you, oh, something's wrong. You're going to feel like a peace about it. Secondly, you know, well, this should have been first, is that you take that person to God, like literally, and say, you know what, before I even go forward, before I get all emotionally involved or whatever I have you, you know, Lord, is this somebody you want for me? Does this person line up with the call and purpose you have for my life? And that's how you will really get, you know, guys, okay, because I could tell you a whole lot of things, but if God doesn't say this is the one, it doesn't matter. Then they're not the one. So you want to make sure that this is someone that God has given his stamp of approval on and said, yes, this is the one. So pray about it. Pray fast, you know, seek God on that person. And then, you know, you have your set criteria of things, your set standards. If you are a Christian and you are, you know, in your faith, you know that you want somebody that's going to be a Christian as well. You want to be equally yoked with that person. So you want to make sure that you guys believe the same things. Because if you don't believe the same things, it's almost like a disaster for failure. And whether it happened today, tomorrow, or a year from now, it's bound to happen. So you want to make sure that there are things that are set in stone that listen we both have to believe the Lord. We both have to be on the same page and go in the right direction. Like, what is the purpose for your life? This is what you have to really understand as well is that if you've been called to, you know, travel the world and be a singer and this person that you're possibly dating doesn't like to leave the city, doesn't even consider himself ever traveling anywhere, then that's going to be a problem. <laughs> if he wants a girl that just stays at home, and takes care of the kids, and you want to be a career woman, that's not going to work. So you have to make sure that there are certain things that you set in stone, and especially regarding your purpose to see, well, is this person going where I'm going? And then you say, you know what, okay, this makes more sense. And so, again, you have to see God, find out what he says about the person. If he says yes or no, he'll let you know, he'll give you confirmation, he'll make it clear to you. And also, you want to make sure that you have the peace of God about it. You'll have a peace and you know that something feels right. And it's, it's, it's like that inside of you is okay. You, you know, you're not nervous about it. You're not really um, fretful about going forward. You're not trying to check his emails and all that kind of other stuff. But something inside of you just knows. Something, your spirit just clicks and you know that, yeah, this is it. And you'll have confirmation from the Spirit of God about it. You'll make sure that you both are going in the same direction, that you're equally yoked, that your purpose aligns with his purpose. You guys know where you're going and you believe the same things. You believe how you want to raise children. You, the, you know, those are the same core beliefs that you have, how you want to, you know, where you want to retire, where you want to, you know, you're, you guys agree on certain things that say, yeah, this makes sense for where we're both going. And so that's how you know that this person is for you. You know that this person is for you because they genuinely care and love you. The good, the bad, and indifferent. So you know that, yes, this is the one for me. They meet your criteria. Number one, God said yes. 
you have the peace of God and your purposes align with each other, then there's a great chance <laughs> that that person is for you. So don't mess it up. So if you have any other questions, be sure to ask me on Twitter at Coach Sharita, on Facebook at Coach Sharita, or you can send me an email at info at I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, only believe until the end. Make sure you like and subscribe. Be blessed.